Hey, what is going on, my homies? It's your boy, Adventure 14. So, uh, today, we have some crazy stuff going on, alright? Uh, we're gonna be working on the Candy Kingdom. Last time we did this, we worked on a dungeon, but this is obviously a little more important. Uh, we're gonna be working on some layout for the Candy Kingdom. Because there's not anything really in the show to tell us how the Candy Kingdom is laid out. Because it's so absolutely vast that Finn and Jake just kind of go from room to room and we don't know where. So, through door A here, you go up a staircase and go upstairs. So, our staircase is kind of already covered. Um, and the building style here is a little bit broken up, and I would like things to be a little bit close together, so we're going to have to sort that out immediately. As you can see, we have plenty of room out here to work with, and plenty of room going up. Um, we're going to be able to get multiple stories out of this area down here, which actually we already have. Um, far as layouts um, this staircase goes just barely to the second story so that it can go out in the um, like the dining area up top and if you guys are wondering where the um, like the dining area thing up here came from like how I know it's there um, it's shown in the episode the suitor so it exists don't at me bro um, and obviously since that's there uh, the only logical thing is for this room to be an inner dining room and for this room maybe to be a kitchen? Or perhaps vice versa? Or maybe this room to be chopped into multiple pieces and part of it to be a kitchen? Because the layout here is a little screwy and it's going to be hard to sort out exactly what it is that we're doing. So staircase comes up. You walk in. This should be not a kitchen. And then you're going through and you come through this doorway into this other room. And this should be not a kitchen. So obviously, nowhere is a kitchen and somewhere needs to be a kitchen. I don't know what's over here. Nothing. There's nothing over here. Maybe this can be a kitchen. build the floor out a little bit more holy holy crap we do slash fill here boys we're slash fill people now oh, crap man Boom! We getting it. So let's say our, this is our kitchen. Theoretically speaking, what if this was our kitchen? This should pretty much be like usable public space all the way around because it can very nicely be like a doorway right here and have like a spot for bubblegum to meditate and do whatever the heck it is that bubblegum does. Probably be evil. Go watch my video. What do you guys think of my tree up here? Do you like it? This tree is a kind of a pain to make, man. Because it was like, I was just basically made a giant, giant square. I had to do tons of different slash fills. And then I just cut it up a lot um, to kind of shape it. I'll tell you what's another thing we need to do. We need to rebuild this gate. Ironic Kitten did a wonderful job on the gate, and it's very beautiful. Um, but things got way bigger than I thought they were going to, and the gate has to be bigger. Like, a lot bigger. And also symmetrical. We're also gonna have to work on our lighting problem in here. We got a bad, bad, bad lighting issue. Most of it can be, like, electric-looking lights, though, because I think the Candy Kingdom's kind of pretty powered. 
Okay, so let's figure out our kitchen here. We can bring it all the way out to the outer wall if we wanted to. We can, like, do what we have not done with most of these rooms and give part of it a rounded edge. Just so you remember that you're in a round building every once in a while. It would be good if you, you had a clue, you know. That's the problem with cartoons, though, man. Like, you go into a round building... And once you enter the door, you're in a square room. It's like, dang it, dude. Stop making things impossible for me to build in Minecraft. You scumbag. Alright, so maybe we leave this. What if we cut this apart a little bit? What if we destroy this wall? That would allow us to kind of split things up into a kitchen without anything feeling too crowded, I believe. Oh my gosh, look at all the leftover stuff from us making the circles and stuff. It's cool. Basically, when we built the place, um, we had to split the crap out of everything. And, um... Make sure everything was round. Let me let me start that over. Basically, when we built the place, we just had to split the crap out of everything. Um, so we went from, like, our center. So we just chose a center in the middle of the clearing here. Hold on. Make it so we can see everything. Sorry, guys. So basically, we chose a, a uh, middle of this clearing, which is literally the exact center of the Candy Kingdom mass. So right there, the center, right? See, there's actually one of these lines coming in. And then we proceeded to count out, I think it was... Was it 125 to each side? So it would be 250 when we were all done? I forget how that worked. But basically, we counted out a good amount, right? So the green was the second line, I think. So we had a beginning line, and then I think we had 20 or something, and we went by 10s. I forget how that worked. But basically, that's how we made the original wall, because then we just kind of built everything in between. Ah, here's a here's another example. Uh, we had some different colors to show, like where our bars were coming from. So then, once we got everything with the wall built, we needed to build the castle, uh, and we needed to have a center to that too. So here you can see the redstone was the center point, like all the way up through. So we had it through every floor, so there was no possible way that we could screw up. And then. We had the um, wool counted out to certain lengths. That way we, again, could not... Oh! That way we could, again, not screw up. Um, and you'll be able to see in just a second that this goes all the way through. So redstone keeps going down. Here's where we're working down here. And then we have this whole system to make sure that everything was round where we were going to start our new floors and whatnot. So then down here, you can actually see what was left of the original circle when we were uh, building the next floor up. So you can see where the next floor started. So technically it's not like nothing here is perfectly round. We went with, like, looks round, like what looked good, instead of, like, an exact thing and what was a little easier to build with. Uh, so we didn't do perfectly round. We just did big. Um, and things worked out pretty well. Like, I mean, our, our building area was good, and things just uh, went really well. We're blessed, boys.
Alright, boys. This is lit. Okay, that's not what we wanted to do. Here we go. Here we go. Just chop off the corners we don't like. It's all good. Round building? What? Square walls. Square rooms. Square rooms. What even is this? Get this out of here. Square. Everything's square. Everything's square in here. Except for me. I ain't a... Uh, square. So I'm working on... Um, what the um, moves and everything for a music video, right? Um, and we're doing Photograph by Def Leppard. And I am very aware that everybody on YouTube who voted uh, pretty much voted no. Um, but what the problem is, is I also posted a poll on Instagram um, and people voted yes. And more people voted yes on Instagram than voted on the YouTube poll at all. So I guess we're doing it. There are some things that I, you know, take the criticism on and go like, yeah, it's probably a bad idea. But some things, you know, I, I just, I don't know, I, I just have a, a, you know, something in my brain that says like, you need to make this, you know, this is going to actually go extremely well. You can actually make something out of this and do well. So do it. Uh, and then I do it. Call it creator's intuition. I'm a content creator, I should have some kind of intuition about it or something. Okay, we're gonna go like this. I keep forgetting about like the, the spot on the bottom. Like, I, there's a blue mark. The blue line, it's the trimming! It's the trimming! There we go. There we go. Getting it, bro. Getting it. We just, we're just building like madmen out here. Heck yeah, brother. Woo! Okay, so this room, if I remember how we're doing this correctly, I'm starting to get confused. Okay, so this is going to be the kitchen. It's like inside this area here. And this over here is like gonna be something else or something so actually our closet entrance should be from this side and we can we can just freaking block that off there we go i know what i'm doing it's okay guys it's i'm, I'm gonna save the day it's gonna be okay promise okay we're gonna need to block this in just so we keep our levels straight um, but we're gonna make this, like, this tall, because it's a freaking closet, and why would it not be? You don't need that tall of a closet, you just don't. Alright, so, we're gonna go like this. So, I think we're going to actually build at least a good chunk of the kitchen, if not all of it, uh, before we end off, and maybe the storage, because that, that's important for a kitchen, because you need to take your food from out from somewhere after uh, after it gets delivered, you need somewhere to store it, you know, and then get it out for food. I think we'll do like a metal door, staff only sign type of deal, you know, or at least a door. Okay, so closet, we need to do the closet thing, I think a spruce door will be fine, so we got a spruce door, now we need a kitchen door, and that is going to be made out of nicer wood, because it's a public area now. So yeah, now we got that nice chocolatey looking wood, probably a chocolate door. Seal this up. I said seal up. There we go. So 
So we got a small door, we bring it into the kitchen. Awesome, awesome. Now we need to decorate our freaking kitchen, bro. What is this, roundness? Stop being round, you're a square building on the inside. Round building on the outside, square building on the inside. Gosh darn you. There we go. It's all right, guys, we fixed it. Hooray. Okay, so what do we do for this kitchen? The Adventure Reborn series super well received so far, honestly. Uh, I don't know how well it'll be received by the end, but episode one went well. Okay. Minecraft kitchen designs. Please bring up green. Please bring up green. Please bring up green. Please bring up green. Green's not even on the list anymore. Gosh dang it. Minecraft modern kitchen design. We almost want like medieval slash modern kitchen. Like we almost want both because Adventure Time's like this weird area of both. We got like the old timey wood tables and like things built like they used to be. And then we also kind of have some weird modern stuff going on. Um, plus this will be kind of industrial. So we need to find like a sweet spot to where there's that. A kitchen design ideas, easy tutorial, perfect. That's lit. All right, so here's what we are gonna do. Wait a minute, do I know what I'm doing? Yeah, kind of, I guess. We're gonna need all of the bee stuff. We need a need some bee hive. So we're gonna need a composter. We're gonna need some beehive there we go so beehives apparently make great counters um, and I am going to not do exactly what the dude did uh, we're gonna need some slabs so we're gonna get some some birch slabs and we're gonna need some picture frames yes the frickin my picture frame boy kill all that so we're gonna go the composter like that I'm gonna put a beehive on either side of it. Um, actually, we might do... Let's do the same thing. Let's do that. I like that even better. So, we're gonna put our item frames. We're gonna put this on here. So, you got little drawer handles. We have to click on the edge. There we go. That looks horrible. Maybe from the bottom. This. Yeah. All right, the guy had it right the first time. Whatever. Oh, I can't adjust. Stupid. Okay. Fine. Okay, so now we got some drawers going. Okay, perfect. So now we actually have some very clean looking countertops. I actually like this a lot. So I think we'll do our counter out to here. And then we're going to bow it to the side. Oh, that looks nice from this angle too. That's lit. Okay, so we're going to go like that. And then, should we see if we can kind of, wait a minute, I have an idea. Go like this. And then from this angle, we go like this. So we get that cool, nice look on this side and this side. I am a genius. I'm a genius. Okay, so now we have we got wide counter look. The thin right up here at the front. That's lit. That's lit.
I think we'll do one more. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Let's do one more. Do boom. Boom, that's awesome. Okay, so now we need that again industrial look. Um can we figure out let's look in, up into this a little bit more. See, I need like the some of the original ideas sometimes for stuff like appliances. Okay. Uh I need like the original like a um like a quick idea and then I just I can just build from there. Um but sometimes I need that first start kind of you know we probably even ignore the the middle one kind of just go like yeah yeah make it match up with each end screw it i bet you we can use the new frog lights that would be cool new frog lights yes there we go use these yellow frog lights get a good look Okay, maybe not, not. Hold on. Okay, we need. Are there solid trap. Yeah, there has to be. This literally cannot not be, right? Okay, I think we're gonna go with this look. Uh, here, go like that, like that. Go all the way across. Okay, so we got one light bar. That's all well and good. Um, so I think this counter should probably go along this back wall. Destroy that. Okay, so that goes along the back wall now. Um, we can probably, let's kill this corner. Um, you can figure out how to do, like, some storage type of stuff. I guess just do quartz. Like... That. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Big ol', big ol' fans. Yeah, I kinda like the sharp angle. Yeah, not too bad. So then we're gonna need something over in this corner, like I said, for some some storage stuff. Here, have our um, kind of our drawers. So I think that looks like a knob, basically. You open them up. Have your storage in there. Go like this. Yeah, like that. I like that a lot. And, um. Gotta get some decoration around, I think. So let's do, uh, like maybe a cup. Maybe like another cup here, kinda. What else can we do? Guess we're gonna have to do another light bar. It's the only way I can think to uh, to light up the area very well. Hopefully if we crowd the place, it'll hide the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get like that. All right, so now we got two light bars, one over the main counter, one over the kitchen over here. Probably gonna have to do one more, maybe, if we don't have anything huge over here. I'm trying to think of like shelving and like extra use, because like a kitchen like this, you don't just just have it, you know? It's like you have to get as much use as you can out of it. So I'm trying to think of how 
how somebody would do that with this kitchen. You know. Two, three, four. Um, definitely gonna build some counter space over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. Right there. Gotta go. No! Go across to the frog lights. Alright, boys. Things are starting to look up. After all this frustration and me being all ticked at everything. Things are looking up. This is the first well-decorated room of the Candy Kingdom. The first. Okay. So the way I'm seeing it is this is like the work back and forth type of counter. Kind of can any be anything, you know? And this is your prep station right here. Um, we're going to need like a... Maybe like a refrigerator unit type of deal. It would have to be a really big fridge. So, I need some smooth quartz. Be like a massive fridge unit. Let's even get it away from the wall. I'm gonna go like this. Massive fridge unit. It's gonna be like taller than a person, way wider than a person. So now we need a piece of steel bar like that big old fridge unit big old fridge unit okay but random crap sitting on top of the fridge of course Let's have some random stuff up there, as all kitchens do. I don't know about you guys, but I know mine does. The answer was so simple, I was too smart to see it. Oh, jeez. Do some frog lights there. Yes, dude, I love those frog lights. These frog lights are just awesome, man. Just awesome. Go like this. No, actually, let's have it centered there. Yes. So, boom, frog light. Like it looks like an electric light. It's just, it's just a nice, it's a nice warm glow. Go like that. Put a nice frog light. Frog light. One, two, three, four, five, six, frog light. One, two, three, four, five, six, frog light. Wait a minute. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It almost, it almost screwed me up. Bad counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. That maybe they should be everything. Who's gonna notice? Who's gonna care? Screw it. Somebody's gonna download this map and just send me a video of them fixing the thing. We're we'll like, you scumbag. Oh, how dare you. Alright, so that's lit up. Now this over here. 
It's a conundrum. I know the, um, uh, oh, what is it called? The Royal Tart Making Area has to be on this lower level, because that's, that's a basement looking thing, you know? We'll also, we'll have deep underneath the kingdom some dungeons and that sort of thing. We'll probably build that room from uh, where they were torturing Ice King. Or supposed to be, and they weren't doing what they were told. Because Finn and Jake, man, they find justice. That wasn't justice. I want to do, uh, kind of let you guys in on this map a little bit. Because I think it'll be good. We may or may not have a build team here pretty soon to work on this map. Just a small build team, just a couple people. Um, and I will be there every step of the way to make sure that the map goes the way it's supposed to go so we don't end up with a, a weird situation where we lose a lot of progress. Alright, thank you very much everybody for watching, and I will catch you the next one. Thanks guys, goodbye. One more time, see if I can... I was slow on which part, the doing... The spinning part, yeah. Do I do it like almost as soon as I do? I go like. I think so. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Let me skip back again. Okay. And. No. Okay, yeah, that's pretty I, good. I messed up that time, but let me. Because I forgot to do like this. Uh, well, the spinning bar is pretty good. Nice. It's all uh, one fluent motion. What? It's all one fluent motion. Yeah. Okay. And now. Alright.